Here we are, off on our path. It's kind of windy, a little cold, but it's not too bad. Good weather in my opinion. It means it's um, not a lot of people out here, which is excellent. I can sometimes see, if I stop moving, is down there you'll see some more dog walkers. But where we're heading is into there. But to get there, we have to go down this forest path, which is unfortunate. But uh, no one's told me to go away yet, so we should be okay. A little bit of a trek, but what I'm going to be showing is the, uh, uh, the abandoned camp that I found and the way that you have to get to it, which is a little precarious. Some, I'm assuming it's a child or young boy or whatever, has made uh, using a bit of string a way to climb down the hill and climb up again, which I've done myself. I've used it, but uh, it's not too safe. So my plan is to um, replace it with something a bit more sturdier. And uh, at the bottom of, of the uh, uh, ravine, or whatever you want to call it, is a stream that is full of farm runoff unfortunately these little drainage you, i'll show you one in a minute these drainage um channels or all the chemicals and foul smelling manure channels off into this bigger stream and unfortunately right at the bottom where you've got to cross over um it's thick with it and uh, I want to try and do something with that to make it easier to cross. Let me show you one of these channels real quick. So here's, you can see it there. The water is actually not so bad at the moment. There's a fair stink though, but I think that's coming from another field. There you go, there's another one there. Interesting to note, somebody has obviously opened this up to go through. But uh, no, we're not going there today. I did think about it. If, if you could get into that field next door, you can avoid the the. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. The crevice, the the two hills. I'll have to think about what to call it properly. But if you can get into that field, you can kind of skip it. The only problem is the dog wouldn't make it. there now All right, I'll say goodbye for now and we'll bring you back so we're back again here I just wanted to show you this is uh, this is the problem so if you can get across this fence, which wouldn't be too hard, that would take you to the other side, over there. And the camp is just through there. However, it is an incredibly steep drop off. You can't quite make it out through there, just how deep, deep it goes. But if we come through here, you might be able to see beginning to see exactly how far down it is and you'd have to cross across so sort of jump from here to over there which is just as hard really in fact probably harder in some ways but here's the entrance the, the fence here has been knocked down by the wind or somebody else has done it and the plants have yanked it down and pulled it down so you can just cross across really quickly. This is where we're going. So here we are. And just through there you can see that hint of blue. And that's how I found it. It's actually a tarp. 
So one of the first things I'd want to do is make sure to cover that up. Let me show you the, uh, the crevice. And this is what we've got to cross. Quite steep. And it's only steeper over that way towards where we've come from. wild forest, there's no path. There we go. And again, getting down here is already, it's already quite steep. You can kind of see the, the incline going down. You can definitely see the uh, the gap now that's forming. So we've got to find what I... Ah, I see it. Can you see it? <laughs> we've got to find the, uh, the string that has been used already to cross over. And there it is. Someone has attached this and tied it. I'm not sure what kind of knot that is or if it even is a knot. It kind of looks like one. And it's nice and secure and this goes all the way down here where it, it gets trapped under there. But look at that. All the way down. And that stream, you can't really make it out on the camera is filthy. You can kind of see that that bit there is actually foam. I'm not sure if I can zoom in. You can definitely make out just how dirty the water is down there. This sludge. But this is what attracted me to it in the first place. You can see here an old tent has been blown down. So what you've got to do, using that bit of string that you can see there, is go down this path here. Believe it or not, that is a path. You can just make out there, that's the string, and that'll lead you to the bottom. And then, let's see if I can find the other string for you. You've got to make it up there. And that's the string on the other side. See that line there? And that'll take you up onto the other side. I've got hope, so I might look at it today, that down there somewhere there might be an easier way across. We'll see. I'll bring you back shortly. No, unfortunately, as you can see here, there's no easier way down really to get across to the toe. This is what I'm calling that. Or the finger, I suppose. And it doesn't look like there's any easier way of getting from the other side. So really, where they've set up over there is the only way to get across. Let's see what we can do. Just a further down here. That's where I was standing just a minute ago, just through there. There's this slope. It probably looks a lot flatter than it actually is. If I send Hero down, I'm going to be good. Maybe you can see exactly how steep it is. So we made it down here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can get any more. That's where we want to be, up there. But there's no real way to cross this without jumping. And as you can see, God, the smell though is something else. That one's okay. That river I think is, is not so bad. This one here though, whew. Pungent. And then up there is where we've come from. So my choice is either to go back up there or try and get over there somehow. It wasn't easy, but we made it across. 
way to jump. As you can see from the other side there, where my two feet were, over to here. That water is muddy, not pleasant at all. Now I'm hoping if I go up there, I can walk along and then cross further up. Either way, this is not an ideal route to take. Made it up. It's quite nice over here. I would argue this is probably a better side to be on. Well, I reached the bottom. It does suck around to the left, but you can't really get that way. Luckily, this handy, uh, handy stair was uh, has taken us into the field here. So I'm going to follow the field, keep to the left, until I can cross back in further up. Hopefully not get any angry farmers. That's interesting. <laughs> so, let's just say that that was a mistake. <sighs> so the field didn't go anywhere except the sheep that were, uh, had lots of lambs. And another field that had them, so I tried to turn around. Uh, worried that I'd see the farmer. That's where I crossed over, just over there. Oh, look at my hand shaking. Climbed down there and then up that hill. You can't see the way that I came maybe. Oh. Oh, that was a mistake. Lesson learned, I think. So now I need to go that way and back to the car. I think we'll call it a day. <laughs> well, we're taking the easy way now. There's the forest that we normally would go through. And that's where we crossed in at the beginning. Oh. So all that, and I never even made it to the campsite. Oh, well, it's always another day. 